This problem is about modeling in business. A soft drink company has fixed costs of $4,000 per day. The variable costs are $2.25 per case of soda. This case sells for $5.25 per day. We're going to write the cost function. The cost function C of X is the variable cost plus the fixed cost. From information we have, the fixed cost is $4,000, and the variable costs are $2.75 per case of soda. So this one we can put together as C of X equals the variable, which is the $2.75 per case. How, how, many, uh, how many cases of soda? X cases. So going to be multiplied by X, and then plus the fixed cost of 4000 so we got the cost function. The next part, we're going to find the revenue function. The revenue function is R of X is based on the sales. So in this case, the sales, each case sells for $5.25. Therefore, the R of X or the revenue function equals 5.25 multiplied by X. Next part, we are going to find the profit function. The profit function is found by the subtraction of the revenue or the difference of the revenue and the cost function or capital P as a profit equals capital R function minus the capital C function. So in our case, the capital R is 5.25x and the capital C or the cost function is 2.75x plus 4,000. Then we simplify the expression by taking away the grouping symbol, applying a negative sign to both terms to be 5.25x minus 2.75 times x minus 4,000. And then simplify to be um, 5.25 minus 2.75x is 2.5x minus 4,000. So that's the profit function. The last part, we are going to find the break-even point. The break-even point occurs when the profit is zero. Or we can set it up as the revenue equals the cost function. It's convenient to have the profit function induce it from part C and let it be zero. Solve for X after that. So we're gonna rewrite the P as the expression 2.5 X minus 4,000 equals zero. And then we solve for X by adding 4,000 both sides, 2.5 X equals 4,000. And then divide both sides by 2.5. We have x equals 4,000 divided by 2.5 equals 1,600.